in the next session of B1H development training, we're going to learn about SAP Fiori user experience. At the end of this session, we'll be able to describe the Fiori user experience design principle and tools available to design and develop SAP Fiori app and explain what is SAP Fiori element. Unit 1. Introduction to SAP Fiori user experience. We'll start with what is SAP Fiori user ex experience. So SAP Fiori user experience is the new phase of SAP to order the business user for all of the SAP product. And um, it will be available for across all kind of device and any kind of a deployment option regardless deployment on cloud or on premise. Let's have a look at the paradigm shift of SAP Fiori user experience. Traditionally, the SAP transaction is designed from the system perspective and it's function centric. Let's take the sales order form transaction for example. In the sales order, you would have in the, the header, who is the customer, um, when is delivery date, and so on and so forth. And you will have the line detail information. In the line detail, you will note what item, how many, need, and what unit price, and any discount information. And you also have in the logistic information, the build to ship to the GS, and you also have in the accounting information related to this transaction. And the same transaction will be used for all of the end user here. Regardless, it's a sales representative, or it's an accountant, or it's a warehouse worker. Well, the SAP Fiori user experience was a place to put the end user in the, cent uh, in the center. And then it would disaggregate the big transaction into several smooth role base and granular and relevant tasks and activity uh, app. And one app just for one task. And for one row. The second paradigm shift is put the user activity into the end to end business process. Let's look at the order to cash process. You have involved four rows. So the sales representative rows is to create this quotation and create a sales order based on the quotation. That's what the sales representative exactly do. And for after that, for the accountant, the accountant will do the customer credit limit checking or create an invoicing, create an invoice after the, the warehouse developer, warehouse worker to, to do the delivery. And then as you can see, it, each of the row, they need specific information to accomplish their daily task. So in the theory, uh, user experience, you're going to have, for the sales representative, you're going to have two small app. One is to create a sales quotation. The other is to create a sales order. And for the accountant, you're going to have one app for the, to check in the customer credit limit and the other app to create an AI invoice. The same for the rest. And then as, as a result, the traditional functional based application will be transformed into the role based application uh, with a simple uh, function, specific information they need to accomplish their task. And there were five design principles for the SAP Fiori user experience. First one, 
role base. So the Fiori app should be for for a specific road and for a specific task and specific activity, not for any kind of role. And you should be the responsive means it can be running in any kind of a device, smartphone, tablet, desktop. And it should be very simple to use. The end user doesn't require education, training in order to use the app. And the user experience should be coherent. You are having the exactly the same experience on the smartphone, tablet, and desktop. And it will be delightful for the end user for to make up the emotion connection. And the 113 here means one app is for one task and for one role. And it's for three kind of size of device here. And there are three types of apps for the SAP Fiori app. First one, transactional app. So with the transactional app, you can place the transaction, change, update, or cancel um, with the guided navigation. Second one, analytical app. So this would be provide uh, uh, visualize overview information about the business process to check in the, bus the business, business and would allow the end user to take further action based on the contextual business insight. Third, fact sheet. And it will be allowing the end user to search, export a certain uh, business object with the contextual navigation to the related object. And then theory also designed uh, the pattern for the navigation, the interaction uh, to achieve the simple and intuitive user experience. For example, there were, there were no more than four navigation. So the first page, it will be the launch pad, will be the entry point for the end user. Uh, in the launch pad, you will see it, the app has been categorized based on the role, by the role. And each tile stands for one app and for one activity, for one task. And then the second page should be the overview page. For example, if I'm a sales rep representative, when I log on my, uh, my launchpad and open my overview page, I should be able to see it, my, my KPI, my dashboard for my sales revenue for this month and my gross profit and how many, and how many is open sales order and, how, and my activity schedule. And then if I want to see the, my, op, uh, my open sales order, I will go to the third tab, the list, the master and detailed list. And then you will give me the list for my open sales order. And when I select a specific sales order, it will show me the, the sales order details. And then I will be able to navigate to the, my line detailed of the sales order. Uh, for the in the first page here, so that will be the navigation pattern. And here was a, a glance for the a long launch pack how it looked like. And the SAP Fiori user experience should be able to customize. You should be able to customize the team, uh, the custom company uh, logo, and the color, the team color, uh, so on and so forth. And then based on the SAP. Uh, design uh, principled SP also released the Fiori design guidelines as well to guide you through how to visual design and how what should be the uh, interaction pattern um, uh, for the for that design specifically and the underneath of the UI technology to implement the SAP Fiori user experience SAP recommend to use SAP UI5 And apart from that, SAP also provides several tools to design and build SAP Fiori app. So in the, in the design phase, discovery and design phase, 
and SAP provide you the build for the business analyze, uh, which you can, after you have, uh, you can do the quick prototype uh, and then uh, build the prototype with a build. And then SAP build also provide you hundreds of sample Fiori app for your reference. And then as a developer, and you can you can using the SAP Web ID to build your Fiori app based on the prototype created on the build uh, on that, and then you can test it, and then you can deploy it, and the end user can can use the Fiori app, uh, which would be deployed in SAP Cloud Platform or on your on-premise SAP Car Hana. And design thinking would be used as an end-to-end -end methodology to design and develop SAP Fiori app. So design thinking having three major phases. The first one, and each phase having the, having it, it can be iterate, iterate for several times. The first and second design, uh, discovery and design, which mainly for the business analyze. And the SAP provided the, the tool built, which you can learn the design thinking process from the tool and using the methodology of design thinking step by step uh, to do the end user research and, and then create a persona for the end user. And then in the design phase, and you can using the build uh, to quickly build the prototype based on the scratching or based on the graphical design and validate the prototype with the end user. Once the end user accept the prototype, and then the developer can use an SAP Web IDE to implement and to test um, the Fiori app, and eventually deploy the Fiori app onto SAP Cloud Platform or your on-premise SAP HANA system, and the end user can consume can use a Fiori app. At the end of the unit one, um, you having to uh, open SAP uh, course to having more introduction about the SAP theory user experience in the design thinking. That's the end of theory.